Hello. If temperatures exceed 24.5 Celsius today, it will make it the warmest day of this year so far. Greater chance of it happening tomorrow, though. Now, you can see that we do have some cloud that's been burning back towards the North Sea coastline, where some of it will linger through the day. For example, Aberdeenshire and the Northern Isles, that will peg back the temperatures. But for most, it's going to be dry, sunny and warm, with some fair weather cloud developing through the day and highs easily the low to the mid-20s, but cooler, where we do have that lingering cloud. Talking of cooler, if you're thinking of taking a dip in the sea, these are the sea temperatures, still on the low side, 9 to about 13 degrees. We see them pull up as we head towards September. Now, through the rest of the day and into the evening and overnight, we see a return to that low cloud coming in from the North Sea, making progress inland. Out towards the west, we've got an approaching weather front bringing in some more cloud. It's not going to be a cold night for many parts of the country. We'll actually stay in double figures. Tomorrow then, we start with all this low cloud, mist and fog. Like today, it will burn back to the North Sea coastline, lingering in parts once again, holding back the temperatures. And with this approaching weather front, we could see the odd isolated shower in Northern Ireland and Western Scotland, but most of us won't, with highs up to about 25 degrees, possibly even 26. Now, as we move from Tuesday into Wednesday, we do have this approaching area of low pressure coming up from the south. It looks like it's got the potential to bring in some heavy showers, which potentially also could be thundery. But move away from here, and we're looking at another dry and sunny day, a warm day with just light breezes. Temperatures getting up to about 25 or 26, but once again, cooler along the North Sea coastline and cooler where we're likely to see some of those showers. On Thursday, still a fair bit of cloud coming in from the southwest, still some showers with that as well, but drier conditions across the north and the east with some sunshine. And these are the kind of temperatures you can expect, so slightly dipping, but still above average for the time of year. The average, incidentally, is roughly 16 to 19 north to south. As we head towards the end of the week, there is the chance we could see some further showers, maybe even some longer spells of rain. There'll be some sunshine in between, but temperatures slipping a touch.